Hello there. So I've just been going through some of my projects and I thought there's a few materials in here that I could share. Uh, and this is available below as a free download. So this is an iridescent material that, as you'll see, as I'm rotating the mesh, the uh, it appears it's kind of simulating the effect that the light is bouncing off and affecting the hue. Uh, this is kind of a simulation really because what's happening is it's calculating the angle from uh, the normal on the mesh in relation to the angle of our viewpoint, our camera looking at that pixel and then it's shifting some parameters based on that angle. So it appears that the light is kind of refracting um, and gives us gives us this beautiful kind of iridescent quality. Now, when we look at the master material and here with a sort of flat cube, you can kind of see what's going on. So the angle is changing and then we're getting this fall off based on a graduation and some colors that we've defined here. Um, so we're using this hue shift that is doing a lot of um, the, the color affecting, but here is that calculation where we're looking at the pixel normal in world space and then the camera angle working out the dot product and playing around with that and affecting the base color based on all those inputs. So it's it's amazing. I think the fact that this can happen in real time um, it can be updated we've got parameters here that are within our material instance that we can play around with and looking at let's have a look let's drop in a material instance and here i've really kind of ramped things up so you know here of course we're using the example of a shell but you know this could be combined with the new clear coat material system in 4.26 and give you that kind of iridescent finish of a car paint um, for the automotive industry. So have a little play around with the settings. One thing I love to do is always kind of shred the numbers really and see what see what you get. Um, let's have a look. So we can play around with the hues. Seems to be doing it. Oh, right. The emissive strength is definitely having an effect. Tiling, of course, using our UV so we can really go a bit nuts. So I'm creating a, a sort of little game at the moment that I'm definitely going to bring this material into just to kind of pop things up uh, a little bit. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be a bit crazy when we come back out here and see. So, you know, depends on what you're trying to do. But in terms of playing and seeing what's possible, um, I hope this material is of use and uh, enjoy it. Live long and prosper.